seeking solace. Commander Versa or Versail Haloy seeks a compatible adventurer for a most daunting assignment. Ah, now here is a man who inspires confidence. It hearkens me to heartens me to see you stride into the adder's nest today. For I have a task of considerable breadth. Oh my god, I accidentally skipped past it. My bad. Allow me to elaborate. In recent weeks, my eye has been drawn to unusual movements among the sylphs. Those charming yet troublesome beastmen with whom we share our forest home. In hopes of shedding light on their intentions, be they malicious or benign, I dispatched a young researcher to Little Solace to investigate further. The fellow goes by the name of Voice. Per mayhap you have heard of him? It would seem he is rather accomplished in his field. He set out a fortnight ago, and has been sending regular reports ever since. That is, until some three days passed, though he was quick to assure me that his prodi prodigious intellect and survival skills would ensure his safety. I cannot help but fear he has come to harm. Such is my request to you. Travel to Little Solace and inquire as to the well-being of our man. Seek out the sylph um, Alms. Omskio? I can't pronounce that. Ah! Who has often acted as an intermediary between our peoples. Now go in safety and in haste. The forest holds any dangers these days more than ever. Many dangers. Okay, well, I don't have enough space to pick you up right now, so you're gonna hold. Walking one walks... Yeah, walking one walks with strength and purpose, yes. But this one is a busy one. State one's case and state it quickly. Scholar? Walking one is looking for smart one, yes? This one knows no smart one. This one does know bumbling, stumbling one. But what business would anyone have with that one? Stumbling one's whereabouts? Why, right over there. Um, where did that one bumble off to? Bumbling one likely stumbled off to see elder one. But stumbling one is always bothering elder one with silly questions. Bothersome one's blathering makes less sense than blabbling, babbling brook, this one thinks. Oh, okay. Frixio. Ah, uh, brave one returns to these ones. This one is honored. Bra word of brave one's deeds come, comes often to little solace. These ones are honored to call brave one friend. Hmm? Brave one is searching for scholarly one. Brave one cannot possibly mean that one. This one has met many walking ones, and that one has all the wits of a wing rat. Three days ago, witless one stumbled off into the sylphlands, babbling something about research. This one knows little of research, but this one does know that the sylphlands are no place for walking ones, and witless one walking ones that much less. Yes, these ones ancients, ancient home is now the domain of touched ones, and those ones mean danger for these ones and walking ones alike. This one tried to stop Witless One, but Witless One's ears are stuffed with beeswax. <clears throat> okay. Um, um, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Bumbling One set off for the Sylphlands? Bumbling One is even dumber than this one thought. Touched Ones will greet Bumbling One with boom and sizzle. Then Bumbling One will be Crispy One. This one thinks it's for the best. These ones will have one less worry. Oh my God. I clearly did not pay attention when I was unlocking this the first time. Walking one would go in search of that one. This one is confused. Take this one's word. That one is not worth the trouble. Walking one is certain. <sighs> then this one will not stand in walking one's way. But heed this one's warning. Be wary or dead ones will number two. Okay. Guess I'm gonna go do that. Voice of concern. They're perplexed by your concern for the hapless scholar. Walking one will truly go in search of bumbling one? This one thought walking one was making joke. Like the time this one stole bumbling one's undergarments. Ma'am. This one does not understand what walking one is thinking. This one would leave bumbling one to bumble on one's own. But oh well, to each one own. To each one one's one own. Oh my god. This one saw Bumbling One stumbling off towards Lark's Call. Between this place and Touched One's home. Bumbling One is probably where shivering... They're shivering in stockings. If Bumbling One found stockings anyway. Which this one doubts. Be warned, Walking One. The trees have eyes and report the Touched Ones. 
Walking one should not rush too quickly to bumbling one's aid, lest walking one fall into nasty trap. Alright, I guess we're gonna go save a man that doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, the veggies have chosen violence. They were like, it's fine if he dies. Uh-oh. 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 Walking one scribbles letters. Maybe walking one is smart one that everyone was talking about. Smart one? Ha! Smart one would not stumble so stupidly into these one's domain. Someone help me! They'll eat me alive! Shush, stupid one. These ones have no need for eating. Or did stupid one not read that in stupid one's paper stacks? Stupid one is even stupider than this one thought. How many times can you say stupid? Foolishly fool! Now answer this one. Stupid one tries to sneak into these one's home and kidnap chosen one's podling, yes? Stupid one will confess or stupid one will be shocky sizzly one. The, the cho chosen one? Po podlings? What are you- Aha! Did this one know it or did this one know it? But, but this one- or I, I was just repeating what you- And this is how we died. Silence! This one here sneaking one. What one goes there? Hi. I'm not so sneaky. I'm just standing right there. This one knows boss. Oh, I've been in the way. <laughs> this one knows boss one. This one has seen walking one and little solace. Walking one is strong, not like stupid one. Bah! This one will deal with stupid one another day. Let these ones off. Bro. Bro, are you okay? Well. This is fine. Alright. Hi, voice. You okay, bro? Oh, friend, how can I ever repay you? Why, I thought I was a goner for sure. Whatever do you suppose got into those sylphs? The bestiaries describe them as such a carefree, fun-loving folk, and my rather limited first-hand experience has been the same. But do tell, to whom do I owe this debt of gratitude? An adventurer, dispatched by the Order of the Twin Adder on behalf of little old me, you say? Ha <laughs> ha, bless the commander, always looking out for his charge. While I'd like nothing more than to continue this conversation, would you mind terribly if we did so back at Little Solace? This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. All right. Hi. Oh. Oh, hello. I say, it's good to see you in one piece, friend. But where are my manners? I'm not even properly introduced myself. Voice, Gridania's foremost scholar of Sylphic customs and lore, at your service. Well, at least that's what I told the commander when I volunteered for this mission. Just between you and me, I'm actually rather new to the field, but I've long been fascinated by the cute little critters, and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to make a name for myself. And also almost I. Which reminds me, I was just thumbing through one of the tombs I, uh, borrowed from the Stillglade Fane when I came across a particularly fascinating passage of a legendary sylph who is said to possess such power that she controls the fate of her very people. Now, I realize this might sound crazy, but I couldn't help but wonder if this might be the selfsame chosen one that the frightful sylph was. Chosen one, yes. Well, does, well, does this one know the legend? Oh, that's Frixio, shit chosen one, the one who embodies the spirit of all the trees that have ever lived or ever will live in these one's forest home. Once every ten hundred years does chosen one sprout forth to lead these ones into a new era before returning to slumber. Birth and rebirth, such is the cycle of this one's civilization. Ten hundred years, eh? So if the last recorded sighting of the chosen one was, yes, that would mean that the next rebirth would occur in... Uh, just give me a moment now. Yes, carry the one and... Elder One, 
Could it be that Rebirth of Chosen One is nigh and Touched Ones are plotting something? Huh. Well, B, I believe our Sylph friend has here has the right of it. This one does not like this at all. Something must be done. Something, yes. Something indeed must be done. And yet many questions of import remain to be answered. Such as, where might we find this Chosen One? And what is the true nature of the power she holds? And most importantly of all, where, pray tell, did I misplace my underclothes? <laughs> I know not if this is related to the coming of the Chosen One, but the Twelves would is terribly <laughs> chilly these days. I don't want to know that you're going commando, sir. But regardless, I swear now that I shall remain at Little Solace until these mysteries are unveiled. Twas not my dumb luck that I was chosen for this task. No, the esteemed leaders of my nation <coughs> knew that. No, they knew that. Uh, was, my, it is rather cold, isn't it? If you'll allow me a moment's respite. Okay. This one is worried. If Chosen One falls into the hands of the Touched Ones, it could mean the end of these ones. This one must see to the safety of Little Solace. The search of the Chosen One, this one would entrust to waking, walking one. Coughing one spouts big words, but has not the strength to save these ones. This can be seen by anyone, and so this one turns to walking one. Will walking one help these ones? You can count on this one. Thank you, walking one. Walking one is a true friend to these ones. This one will not forget friendly one's kindness. Da, 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 Tribal quest unlocked, little solace. All right, chat. Hi, voice. Pilford Podlings. Voice has made a monumental discovery. Friend, you must listen. I was just pursuing, perusing my to tomes before when I came across the most fascinating passage. Are you perchance familiar with how baby sylphs are born? Perhaps I can put it in layman's terms. You see, sylphs come into this world in the form of a bulb, not unlike a certain type of flora. But these bulbs will not sprout into a sylph of their own volition. No, they must first be incubated with a, within a special pod, forming what is known as a podling, and given sufficient warmth and nutrition. Then, and only then, will a newborn sylph emerge. This got me thinking. Those frightful sylphs who accosted me said something about a podling, yes? I didn't put it together then, but... Yes, surely the Chosen One slumbers as a podling even as we speak. A podling which they assumed I had come to steal. This must be why they acted so threatened by my presence. We should continue our search in the sylphlands right away, straight away. That is to say, you should continue it. I mean, I'd go with you, of course. It's just, a. Uh... <clears throat> I feel so weak. <laughs> um, I'm sure Almaxio would agree. You should go see what he thinks. Oh, uh -huh. the burbs and the bees. That's exactly how silks are made. Almaxio. Bumbling one said, "What? Chosen one yet still exists as a podling? Or yet exists as a podling? Why did Bumbling one not tell this one sooner? There is no time to lose." Walking one must become running one and retrieve chosen one's podling from the sylphlands with all haste. This one can help. This one see uses see-through magic so that walking one becomes hidden one. But be careful. See-through magic will not last long. If touched one use see walking one, walking one is in trouble. Now hurry and find chosen one. Okay. I will be invisible. Uh, I can't run either. So, the, it makes me invisible, sure, but there should be plants along the way that I can interact with to stay invisible. I'm going to actually zoom out for this, though, so I have a easier time seeing them. Because it's a little important to see the... There we go. It's these blooms. Hey, Squidbot, play Sonic Drowning MP3. No! <laughs> the stress. Luckily, they're not that hard to see here. One of the quests I had a really hard time seeing because I was too close uh, during, like, just the dailies. These don't go for as long. I don't like that. Uh, is there one over here? I hope there's one over here. 
I don't think I'm going to make that. Uh-oh. 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 It's not safe to prevent... Damn it! I was so close! Okay, don't go left. I'm gonna try and go right. If I don't make it, I don't know which way is better. Oh no, this seems closer. Okay. Uh, still close. I have 10 seconds. You guys can't see it. It's behind the bar, but... The information's usually not important. <laughs> It's only important now. Hi, wolf. Bye, wolf. <laughs> oh, God. Sluggish self. Phew. This one is exhausted. Who knew what that the podling could be so heavy? Lazy one should feel honored to be trusted by boss with... Boss one with super secret mission. Uh, I'm not transparent anymore. Yes, yes. This one is honored, but also tired. So this one... Uh, Hides podling in super secret place. We'll carry the bo two boss one when arms and wings are strong again. But boss one said not to let the podling out of sight for even one blink. Yes, yes. That this one was just going to go get it. Now, uh, where did this one put it again? <laughs> was it near the entrance of these one's home or? Uh, this one cannot remember. Oh, what has this one done? Boss one will pluck this one's wings out one by one. These ones must search. If these ones do not find the chosen one quickly, this one will not survive boss's, boss one's wrath. Okay, good. I don't need to be invisible because I'm not. Hope that's not a problem. Podling. Carry the podling back to Little Solace in your arms while your legs still have strength. You will have 50 seconds to complete the task. Should you fail, return to the starting location and begin anew. Beware of attacks from enemies. Should you find yourself tiring, seek out patches of moon grass, which will restore your strength. Oops. Okay. Uh, hi, wolf. Oh, this is stressful. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. I should be fine in terms of level. I'm luckily higher than everything here. Otherwise, I'd be kind of screwed. Please do the moon grass. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Demonos is like, I'll never make a joke again. <laughs> Demonos happened to be right. It was accident, did not mean to scale. You're fine, baby. I'm sure it was just coincidence. Oh, I see a dark skies too. Oh shit, I'm like running over everything in the most inconvenient way. Uh, where do you get shark pedo from? Out of curiosity. Okay, last stretch. Cat is being stalked, I am being stalked. <laughs> By two people. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hi, baby. Okay. 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 Oh, there's a moon grass. Oh, thank God. Because I was like, um, this is farther than I recalled. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't think I go up there. Yeah, I go right here, right by voice. All right, I got it. I did it. Could it truly be the Chosen One's podling? Good show, friend. Why, it is every bit as beautiful as I would have expected from the tales, and thrice the size. Brave One has done it. These ones cannot thank Brave One enough. By keeping Chosen One out of the hands of Touched Ones, Brave One has saved these ones. No. Everyone in Eorzea from a thundery demise. Oh, let us not engage in hyperbole, S friend Sylph. Chosen one or no, she is just a wee babe after all. Foolish one has four eyes, yet none of them sees. 
<laughs> uh, foolish one has learned nothing from these paper stacks. From the moment Chosen One emerges from Cradle, Chosen One holds the power of a thousand thousand of these ones. Power to command Primal One with ease by which walking ones draw breath. <gasps> what does Four-Eyed One think would happen if Chosen One's powers fell into the hands of Touched Ones? Lord Ramu would come down from the heavens and walking one's precious Gridania would go boom. A, a primal in Gridania? How, how frightful. Why, he must really do something about this. We must. Does four-eyed one need four ears as well? That is why this one sent brave one in search of chosen one. <sighs> what matters is that chosen one is now safe. Under these one's care, chosen one will ri will be raised in little solace, where chosen one will know only peace and gentleness. If raised properly, Chosen One's great powers will bring comfort and solace, not destruction. This one, all of these ones, will see to that. But Brave One must be wary. These one's enemies will not give up so easily. Should Touched One's return for Chosen One, this one would ask for Brave One's aid. I got you. Four eyes, are they part spider? Yeah. Reputation, I'm not recognized. Let's go. All right, they are now done. Let's go. Self-conscious. Did Wolf write all of these? I feel like Wolf wrote, wrote all of these. Idle hands. Oh, he has <laughs> had it up to here with the voice's utter incompetence. Ah, friendly one. This one would ask a fair favor. Bumbling one spends all day sleeping on paper stack pillows, yes? So this one thought to put that one to work. This one gives Bumbling One needle and thread, but Bumbling One pricks finger and starts screaming and sobbing. This one's head still hurts. So this one finds simpler task, asks Bumbling One to go collect leaves for Nathoxio. Yeah, simple, yes? But Bumbling One does not return. This one has had enough of Bumbling One's bumblings, but Nathoxio is concerned. Friendly One should go talk with Concerned One. Is he not right here? Nope, he's gone now. Okay, well, he was here a second ago. Nathaxio. This one is Nathaxio, leaf crafter. Walking one was sent by Amaxio, yes? This one is thankful. Amaxio placed four-eyed one in this one's care. Asked this one to find work for four-eyed one would not bumble. This one, So this one sent four-eyed one out in search for leaves of greater shelter tree. This one cast see-through spell on four-eyed ones for safe return. But day turns to night, and that one is nowhere to be seen. This one suspects that four-eyed one is seen see-through no more, and shakes and shivers behind tree somewhere. Uh, four-eyed one is useless, but does not deserve to die. Please find four-eyed one, friendly one. Amuxio be begs to differ. What the fuck did you do, sir? I'm now poisoned? Oh, no, I'm not poisoned. We're good. So I'm gonna... Up. Squiddy. Okay. Cannot execute what? Excuse me. Hey, buddy. Oh, friend. Ever a sight for sore eyes you are. Pray forgive me. I was just on my way back from collecting leaves for my dear friend Nathaxio. And I must say, I harvested quite a haul when I, uh, somehow lost my way. Next thing I knew, my transparency, transparency spell had worn off and, uh... That means all those nasty forest critters can see us, yes? What say we return to Little Solace and quickly at that? Okay. Bye. Hmm? Friendly One is back so soon? Is Chosen One safe and sound? What? Friendly One only now returns to this one? Saving, saved Bumbling One but moments ago? This cannot be. Friendly One was here moments ago. Told this one that Friendly One would go look after... Gah, how could I be so foolish? How could this one be so foolish? This one has terrible feeling. Must see Elder One at once. Am I friendly one? Did someone pretend to be me? Excuse me? Frixio, something happened. Are this one's eyes to be believed? Frozen one, or chosen one's podling stolen from this one's care? But brave one steals chosen one from us. But why? 
Was Brave One fooling these ones all along? Uh, I don't know who this is. This one thinks gray, gray haired one needs new spectacles. Ah, it's me! It's evil me! <laughs> who the fuck? Why, I'll be, fr why, I'll be, friend. You never told me you had a twin brother. This one is surrounded by fools. Makes this one's task all the easier. Chosen one. Foolish ones are foolish, needing indeed to try to outwit this one. But worry not, foolish ones. Chosen one's podling is safe in hands of this one. Ah, the podling trembles with power. The time of rebirth draws near. Yes, at long last, this one will finally reclaim the forest for these ones. With chosen one's power, these ones will be pushed aside by walking ones no longer. Yes, this one will teach chosen one the way of Almighty One, Lord Ramu. This one will teach chosen one of all the th those who are enemies to these ones. Walking ones, steel ones, treacherous ones. This one will destroy every one. Wah ha 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 ha. Well. I was evil all along. If Chosen One is born in Deluxio's care, it is not just these ones who will suffer. Everyone will be in danger. These ones must find Chosen One. <laughs> okay. But where to look? Curses! If walking, only walking ones had sent real smart one instead of bumbling four-eyed one. But this one will think of something. Brave one, please help defend these ones' homes against touched ones to attack. These ones have no one else to turn to. Okay. Um, what? Hooray? What fate? I'm now friendly. Let's go. Self-conscious. Feathers and Folly. Omok Omskio, I can never say their name. Where's a look of grave concern on his face? Friendly one, this one has good news and horrible, miserable, terrible news. Which does friendly one want to hear first? Friendly one would hear good news? Good news is that these ones finally found nasty one, Delixio, and the podling. Horrible, miserable, terrible news is that the sproutling ritual has begun. Chosen one will be born in nasty one, Delixio's care. Does brave one understand what this means? These ones do not have mother or father like walking ones. When, by, when little one sprouts forth from podling, first face of these ones that little one sees, that one becomes nurturing one to little one. If these ones do not do something, nasty one Delixio will become chosen one's nurturing one. Touching, touched ones will yield power of Lord Ramu to destroy these ones home. Walking ones, nations, everyone. Elder one looks for friendly one. Please go quickly. All right, I will go quickly. All right, Frixia. Oh shit. Cursor. Brave one has been friend to these ones time and time again. This one would ask for brave one one final favor. Brave one must steal into the heart of touched one's lair. Rescue podling from nasty one Deluxio before chosen one sees that one's face. Never have these ones needed brave one more. Elder Frixio! This one would- Oh, shit, that's voice. Elder Frixio, this one would go too. This one has been a fool. This one's half-hearted designs on playing hero have brought only trouble and anguish to little Solace. This one would make up for it to, uh, you ones. <clears throat> this one does not want to end his days as a bumbling one. Bumbling one talks funny. Funny talking one should be silent one. This one begs of you ones. This, this one has learned one's lesson. Please one, give this one just one more chance one. Oh my god, he is fucking up their language. Shush! Funny talking one's funny talk makes this one's head hurt. 
Funny talking one's good intentions are not lost on this one. Yet well-meaning one is still bumbling one, and bumbling one would only put brave one and oneself in danger. Listen to this one. Stay in this place out of trouble. But this one, this one, this one. Ah! Finally, these ones can have some peace and quiet. Listen well, brave one. Deluxio and touched ones performed sprouting ritual at the seed bed, deep in the heart of the Sylphlands. The journey will not be easy, even for a brave one, but... Uh... Brave one, your loyal steed awaits! <laughs> Am I gonna backpack? <laughs> yes, feast your eyes on this glorious plumage! Let your spirits be lifted by my rousing call. <laughs> Quit! <coughs> Quit! <coughs> Quit! Now, <laughs> ah, now that's much better. He just wants to be ridden, chat. <laughs> he wants to be ridden so good. <laughs> uh, voice? Voco? Who is this voice? I am Voko, prince among chocobos, fleetest foot of the Twelve's Wood, and I am honored to accompany this brave adventurer on his quest to save all of Sylphkind. This one has no words. Alas, poor bumbling one. It would seem that one's mind has turned into feathers. Why you tarry, adventurer? With each passing moment, the threat to this realm grows. Yes, Voko must press on ahead. And with or without you, fear not, chosen one, for Voka will rush to your aid, Que. It appears Brave One's task will be even more difficult than this one imagined. This one begs bra of Brave One, do not, do try to keep Feathery One from making a bumbling mess of everything. I will try my damn best, ma'am. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you trying to say something, Dark Skies? Because you're dressed up like a ch <laughs> This is very much the meme, don't talk to me or my son ever again, though. Oh my god, big choke. <laughs> Seeing the little head over the big head! <laughs> that looks really funny. <laughs> Quay, the forest is Frightening place, master. But take heart, Voko, prince of the chocobos, fleetest foot in the twelves wood, shall... Quay? Whoa, whoa, what was that noise? Accompany Voko to the seed bed. Your feathered companion is a skittish bird and will flee to safety if he loses sight of you. Motherfucker. This would be a goddamn... Do I have to beckon him? Or does he follow? He follows, thank fuck. Just don't lose sight of me, bro. I am almost just leveled up enough that he, I won't encounter anything. But unfortunately, anything level 49 will still be too high for me. I'm gonna have to make sure Voka doesn't fucking, what did you say? We have a chosen one to save. Yes, we do. And now I have to babysit you. Did it just- oh my god. Oh my god, it attacks him even if I'm overleveled. Well, that's rude. Okay, he's fine. That's so fucking rude! Okay, how do I get- oh my god, okay. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we kill stuff in advance? Damn it, Voco. Back from the dentist! Oh, how'd it go? Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Dark Skies, for helping. Just murder everything in our path. I have to make sure he's, okay, actually on my ass, though. Because if he loses sight, we have to start over, I think. Unfortunately. Just slightly, slightly frustrating. What do you say? 
Prince of Chocobo's at your service. Okay. He's very into this role play. <laughs> uh, Boke, are you here? He's here. Okay, good. I've got two Chocobos following me now. <laughs> uh, so we go to the left. To the left, to the left. It went fine. Just my six month cleaning. That's good. I'm glad it went okay, baby. Tennis is within walking distance, so that helps. Oh, that's nice. Yo. Mine's close, but not that close. I wish. Uh, wait. Where is... Oh, it's like hidden in the wall. Okay. Tree? Rude! He's out to get Voko's booty? I just let alcohol drip down my arm and have found the fourth cut. No! Ow! Oh no! Was it like rubbing alcohol? Not like drinking alcohol. Well, at least it cleaned it out. <laughs> I do have. Oh, I have Squiddy! I have three Chocobos following me. I forgot about Squiddy. <laughs> I forgot about the actual Chocobo. <laughs> Master, look before you. Your loyal steed has guided you to the seed bed. The chosen one awaits. Okay. Could that be Quay? Yes, Master. It is the chosen one's poppling. Oh, okay. That fate music. I don't trust him to touch it. Uh, excellent. Walking one is just in time. These ones have lived in the shadow of walking ones long enough. Chosen one shall choose this one to lead these lands into a new era. New era has no place for imperial ones, walking ones, or traitorous ones who call these ones <laughs> friends. Fiend. No friend. All who are- I'm distracted. <laughs> All who are not these ones shall perish, and dead ones shall- Blood shall water these ones' forest home. Hmm? k -quay. <laughs> Oh, do stick around, feathered one. After this one deals with walking one, roasted feathered one will make good feast for these ones. They eat chocobo confirmed. Now, where is this one? Yes, say your prayers, doomed ones. <laughs> Stealth a hundred. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Boss one, look out, feathered one is. Feathered one is walking one? What is the meaning of this? It was me <laughs> all along. Oh, ha, ha. yes, twas me after all. You'll not be calling this one a stupid one anymore, methinks. <laughs> With me, friend, we must see the chosen one back to little solace. Oh, how invigorating. Yes, these legs will carry me forever. How could this one be fooled by stupid one? She got a knife. Run. She has a fucking knife. I saw that. A knife. No. Um. He may have been brutally murdered. It's fine. It's probably fine. And Elixio. Murdered. Oh, it's toadies. Uh, oh, I gotta help him. <laughs> I guess I should help him. <laughs> oh no, what a shame. <sighs> Friend, I tried, but my legs will carry me. 
No further. I beg of you. See the chosen one back to safety. Weep not for me, friend. I am but a bumbling one who bumbling bumbled until the <coughs> end. Oh, well, I guess he's dead now. Bye. Okay. Safely to little solace. You have 50 seconds. All right. Oops. Okay. I guess let's follow a map, though. So I kind of have an idea of where to go. Hopefully there- yeah, there's things that will make my carrying easier. That's unfortunate. I'm dying of laughter. I'm glad. That was good. That was good. Very comedic. See, this is why I like beast tribes or tribe quests because they like, they're fun. Or sometimes like, like the uh, Sahagin that I just did. Sometimes it's also very touching and has like really cute stories. This is hilarious. <laughs> the quest went a bit foul. You know, how dare you? <sighs> if Chosen One hatches and imprints on voices dressed as a chocobo, I swear, I honestly, that would be hilarious. I don't think so, because I'm bringing it back. But that would have been so fucking funny. I would have cackled. Whee. Now I'm at least high level. Da da. I think you need to be 48 for this quest anyway. I think. He did flew the coop. Uh. Oh, moon grass. Okay. Chicken is being weird. Realization of yours make me cackle. Wait, which one? Uh, Self-care include alcohol on a Wednesday afternoon. I mean, I don't know what you guys do in your free time. Cocked it up in the end. Oh my God. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Uh, pop. Is Lark's Hall where I need to go? Is this where I need to go? No, I need to go a little bit farther down. Shit. Hopefully I find another moon grass before the time runs out. Uh, I have 18, 17, 16, 15. Okay, we're good. I got scared. He was a bit cocky. The enemies did flock to him after stealing that. Oh my god. All of y'all bop. Uh, box of punishment. Feather his nest with that reward. God. So many puns. How dare. Warrior of Light, well, I guess this is happening. That's the Warrior of Light in a lot of situations. I feel. I feel this is true. All right. We're almost there. Almost, just in case. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. Uh, where are you? Uh, do I have to go up here? Probably. Oh, I do. Okay. I did it! Oh. <laughs> He's alive, chat. Sorry to disappoint. Oh, friend! How delighted I am to see you safe and sound. Myself? No worse for the wear, thank you. It really is quite curious, but relieved of the burden of the podling, my recovery was remarkably hasty. Yes, I dare say I've learned much from my numerous near-death experiences. Stay clear of the Sylphlands. Leave the heavy lifting to adventurers, and most importantly, keep a close eye on one's journal and one's undergarments. <laughs> now, what say we sit back and witness the dawning of a new era of Sylph kind?
in all these uh, the years this one has lived, never once did this one imagine that one would see this day. Calling one? This one is Frixio, elder of the little Solus. This one would welcome Chosen One to these one's family. This one would build a home of peace and tranquility for these ones, if Chosen One would join this one. If that is Elder One's wish, this one is born to answer. Such words of succor to this one's heart, Chosen One. Aww. And the cycle begins anew. We did it! We did a good. Hail, friend. Your timing could not be better. I just received a report from Voice relating your exploits in, uh, re yeah, relating in Little Solace in considerable detail. Why, to think that young man not only solved a thousand-year-old Sylphic prophecy, but single-handedly fought off a veritable legion of malevolent Sylphs to rescue the Chosen One and secure a future of peace and prosperity for all of Sylphkind, brains and brawn. Yes, it is clear I picked the right man for the task. Ha ha ha, worry not. The brave lad gave credit where it's due. Yes, he clearly explained that his heroics would have been impossible without your clever chocobo ruse. Voice? We're gonna have some words. And insisted that I... Gordon? You for your supporting role. Pray stay wh a while in Gridania and rest your legs. Well... Reputation up, now we're trusted. Let's go. Self assured. Pop. 